What's up everybody? My name is Eli. Welcome to Tow Truck Therapy. Today we're going to discuss Copart. I know, I know, do not burn up your keyboards. Just hear me out real quick. Right now I'm on my app and I just wrote them. I'm, I'm trying to carry two cars today. One that's flatbed and one that's towable dated for today. So I'm going to send that over to them, submit that, click onto your Haven, work request submitted. Okay, so the reason, guys, that I run Copart, okay, is that right now this is our slow season. There's not that much going on, at least for me right now. Normally summer is insane. But I've only been open for four months, so summer was crazy when I first started, and I went towards the end of summer. But it slows down, and when it slows down, you still have to have income, all right? With Copart, I'm still able to afford my mortgage, my truck payment, which is $1,900 a month, my mortgage, which is not that far away from this truck, by the way, all my bills, everything with just Copart. So what I'm trying to get with this is that Copart isn't for everybody, but it can be for a lot of you, especially you guys that are starting that don't have any, any customers or anything. You know, you're just starting. You're just starting your Google page, whatever, or a Facebook page. It doesn't matter. You don't have any income coming in right now. So what do you do? A buddy of mine recommended me Copart. He recommended me Ajuro, uh, a few other things. I don't really work with like insurance companies or anything like that. I don't have any motor clubs I work with. They call me, so I don't have to sign up for anybody. They just call me, and that's good enough for me. We give them a rate. Nine times out of ten, they approve it. But when they don't call me, I run Copart stuff. And these cars you're going to get some pretty shitty ones. You're going to get cars that are completely smashed up. You're going to get cars that are biohazards that have blood in them and things like that. Just, you know, obviously protect yourself. That's very, very important. But most of the time, they're just little fender bender cars. At least the ones I pick up are mostly little fender bender cars. And you just simply load them up onto your tow truck and you take them to the yard and drop them off. That's it. You pick up, you drop off. You pick up, you drop off. Now, since I've been working with Copart, when I came back to them, because I used to work with them before, which was Snatch and Go, now they're requesting you guys to take pictures of the vehicles. And I was wondering why. Why is that a thing? Why do we have to do that now? It takes more time to do that. It's because drivers, and I don't know if this is, you know, how true or not true it is. But there were drivers that were taking things out of cars, okay, like a radio or something, and um, causing more damage to the vehicles, you know, like improperly towing them, not properly strapping them down, causing more damage. So what they want is before pictures. So when the vehicle gets there and it looks different from what it did when you first picked it up, they're going to have some questions about that. So just do the job like you would do it any other time. Be responsible, tow these cars properly, okay? Because remember, somebody else is going to eventually buy this vehicle. For example, I bought my lady a 2011 Kia Sorento. It was a run and drive, very small tap on the rear. It didn't bend anything. But what happened? Somebody put it on a wheel lift, improperly towed it, and destroyed the all-wheel drive. So that vehicle has been our two-wheel drive SUV for the last, like, two going on three years. So that's why you need to properly tow things. Okay. So back to Copart. Copart works in zones. Copart's in the center, and then there's rings. These rings are the zone, the, uh, the different zones, the outer rings. And these outer rings, um, I think they go up to zone 12 or 13. Don't quote me on that. You could ask them yourself. 
I like staying in zone three, four, and five, just because that is pretty much still within my area. So if I get a call for another customer, if I drop off cars, I could get to that customer very quickly. Anyway, also, as far as pay goes, they give you a rate sheet. That rate sheet, you got to go ahead. They're going to give you an offer on how much you're going to get paid. You go ahead and you read it and you look at how much they're paying you. You don't have to agree to those numbers, okay? You could make a counter offer like, hey, I'd like to get paid this much for these. Now, they're definitely going to shoot you down. I could guarantee you that. Because more than likely, you're going to be asking for way too much money. So what you need to do is offer a few dollars more. Be like, hey, can I get it for $10 more? Whatever. They may agree or may they, they may disagree. You know, and hopefully they agree. They agreed with the rates that I offered or well, the rates that I told them I'd like to get paid. They agreed to that. And we do co-part definitely every single week and it it works out i'm able to afford my bills like i said and i'm even able to put a few dollars away so if i'm able to do it then you guys are definitely able to do it again copart isn't for everybody guys but for the guy that is just starting i'm telling you you don't have any money coming in you probably need to get yourself some business now, there are some motor clubs and stuff uh, that you could sign up for. I don't know. I know a lot of people that um, disagree with motor clubs. There's a guy named Alex from Onsite Towing. He has a super dope uh, YouTube page. Um, it's just like this. You know what I mean? He's just he's in front of the camera and he's he goes pretty in depth with that stuff so shout out to you dude and um my buddy pat caesar he doesn't deal with motor clubs but he does get the calls like i do um so that's pat caesar that's his uh youtube page super cool guy and very interesting content so yeah guys check it out do not knock it till you try it i'm gonna go back into my house i'm freaking tired i just got back from a tow not too long ago so hopefully copart reaches out to me and they give me some info so we could go ahead and pick up some copart cars so check it out guys for the most part we don't normally get completely destroyed cars when you're picking them up from copart that thing is pretty beat up but it looks super cool anyway i'm gonna set up the camera on the tripod and load this thing up